I'm just like pointing out random alleyways. But like, look at that. You get to like the second floor, you just don't know what's on the second floor. Like what do you, that's a karaoke bar on the second floor of this like, uh, and then they sell like vibrators downstairs, I guess. And it's a sex toy store, but it's tax free. Like, dude, it's just, everything is just so random. All right, guys, welcome to my Japan vlog. Well, mostly just Tokyo. Taking the train from Narita, flew in from LA to Narita, and yeah, it seems like it'll be really fast. It's super cool to be finally in Japan. I'm only gonna be in Tokyo for a week, so I'm gonna try to make the best out of it. And there's so much random stuff going on here. I think it might be cool to see some of the little local stuff. Like you can see how they just have like, random cat cafes over here and stuff we're just walking around today i went to a not sorry not that was a cat cafe that was a maid cafe i went to a cat cafe the other day a cat cafe was like a normal cat cafe like it was just cats and it was really 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 cute i'm just pointing out all of the little stuff I, I, you can just look at all the buildings and stuff and it's all they're all just so large like they just go up multiple stories and you never know what you're gonna find on like the fifth floor versus like the second floor or something you know it's pretty crazy you can just walk into any of it and it's just it's just pretty insane i'm convinced the higher the floor you go you find some really 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 cool stuff up there so for example i found this really cute sushi restaurant i found that amazing japanese grill yeah just a lot of really cool stuff wherever you go food is just so good here I wish I spoke any amount of Japanese so I can figure out some of these what some of these stores sell like some of these stores just sell the most random stuff yeah it's, it's, it's insane I'm like not entirely sure which direction I'm headed in either but there's a giant mall up there called Parko this area is like supposed to be um oh it's green it's supposed to be like for young people Although Shinjuku is also for young people, this is also for young people. Yeah, it's a three-dimensional cat on the corner of Shibu, uh, Shinjuku. So cool. <laughs> Shinjuku is commonly known as like the nightlife district of Tokyo, um, and it definitely looked that way. Look at all these flashing lights. Look at that Godzilla up there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. I was kind of surprised that restaurants weren't open up much later, but there were a lot of like host clubs and you know, just normal clubs too around Shinjuku. So it was kind of. Shinjuku is a little bit more, sus. well, not sus, but they had like Kabukicho, which is like a red light district ish place. It's not really red light though. I don't really know what's going on there. I was there last night. And they had a bunch of like Japanese host clubs and like I just really don't know what they are. Like everything's in Japanese. It's it's just it was just super um, like it looked a little bit more sus, but I don't know what kind of sus it is because I don't understand anything and I don't know what they're trying to tell me. So when I go, I'm just like I don't, this, this could just be a regular cafe or a bar <laughs> or it could also like be other stuff and I just don't know, <laughs> you know, so yeah, but it's totally fine. For the most part, it's like, <laughs> for the most part, everything else, you can kind of figure out that it's a restaurant or a bar, but like in Shinjuku, it's a little, it's a little more complicated than that, which Honestly, it's, it's, it's still cool. It's just, I'm like too scared to go in. Like, I just don't want to go in and then all of a sudden be like, oh gosh, what's happening here? If anybody here watches um, Spy X Family, it's huge right now in Japan. I've tr seen a lot of the all you can eat drink spots, but I don't know if my stomach will be, my liver will be able to handle all you can drink spots, so I haven't gone to any just yet. This is like the most popular anime right now, probably. I also want to take you guys to Akihabara. 
at some point because then you guys can see like the real out of it shit. If you're watching this vlog, you probably figured out I didn't take stream to Akibahara and I'm really sorry, but at least I got to take YouTube. By far the most confusing experience is playing pachinko and pachinko slots, which let's not talk about it. But also these anime dolls. The figurines are really cool though, and look at all these books. No trip to one of these districts is complete without a little food, and the ramen in Japan is obviously to die for. Alright, important question, would you ever buy secondhand anime titty mouse pads? Um, point this to you all, because I know you have seen it, but look at every single floor, like each floor of those buildings is like its own thing. I just never know like where or what things are specifically they just have they just it's it's such a cool aesthetic but at the same time everything is vertical like these floors aren't very very big but at the same time you know like you just have multiple tiers of stuff going on and every single building is that way and i just i just like never ever know what exactly is happening like between the base floor like the base floor might just be a restaurant and then all of a sudden the top floor might be like a photo like you just really don't know they have so little real estate and then you can even see like there's a tiny little taco bell in there um there are just so many cool things oh and this is the don quijito don quixote sorry that just sells the most random stuff and they have an eel in this tank why they have an eel in this tank i don't know but he was out last night or the night before i don't see him now this side looks like studio ghibli and this is like just all these random little things oh is that is that what tango was oh okay well now i'm learning i'm learning it's so tax-free toys okay I don't think he's building historical. I'm sure some guy was just like, I want this style. And you know what else is really crazy? Like, I will stumble upon something like this. It has no pictures, only text. I don't know what it says. That sign has an 18 sign on it. And the first two characters are Anshin, and then it's like Anshin, like file or something. So in Mandarin, in Mandarin, it's like some kind of like health or like relaxation place, but I'm like pretty sure that's not what it is. And I, what's the 18th? Like, what is this place? You know, like I can read half the Mandarin characters and then I just get so confused because I'm like, this doesn't seem to check out. <laughs> and there are just so many little places like this when I walk around. It's great. I love it. Like, I can walk into any of these places and I will have no idea what is happening. <laughs> I mean, I look at pictures and then I can roughly gauge, like, what it is, you know? Like, if I don't know, if I don't see a picture of the place, I don't know what it is. <sighs> Alright. Not getting run over, we're gonna cross. But I do know where the station is. <laughs> so... I can figure that part out. <laughs> they have a they really really like their American music. I mean just look at the like the verticality of this entire city. Miyashira, okay. I don't I don't have connection on my other phone. So I'm just walking around blind. Like every single floor, like every single building is just so cool. Like you just it's so much verticality. They have so much less like building laws than in the US and they just they just build up. They just go up. They just build random stuff going up. Oh, this is green. Let's cross. <laughs> much floor, such vertical. Yeah. Like everybody's so stylish, like look at that girl's silver jacket coming around. That's just so cool. She's not in LA, that's true. Look at this sushi menu. I mean, this is like just good quality sushi for not even $20.
and like everything here is just so good it's just so good like you can get 12 pieces for not even 10 bucks and this isn't like you know you know what you can get in the u.s for ten dollars you can get like dragon rolls that are very suspicious probably not real crappy probably not real eel meat either i don't know i don't know where the i don't know what the rice is made out of <laughs> <laughs> like yeah for ten dollars in la bro i'd be a little bit sus <laughs> probably not real dragon either <laughs> yeah no but it but but here in tokyo you can just get like such good food for so cheap and it's great full of mayo <laughs> You'll spend $150 at Nobu for 10 pieces. And like, look at this ramen. I Oh, I had one of those very spicy ones and I regretted it. I didn't, I actually, um, it was, I didn't even just regret it. I like saw that it looked really spicy, mix it up. And then I was like, yeah, that was probably not a good idea. But all of these little ramen places, all of these little ramen places, are like nine hundred dollars and they all taste so good like look at that that's just good and this is in yen so sorry so 900 yen is about seven dollars i think yeah 900 yen is seven sorry not 900 dollars 900 yen <laughs> seven dollars yeah 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 no, my, my uh, data isn't metered. I'm using, I bought a Japanese SIM card. It just doesn't hotspot for whatever reason. I don't know why it doesn't hotspot. It just doesn't hotspot. <laughs> yeah, like if you have $900 in Tokyo, you can eat so well for a week straight. Like if you're like $104 on sushi is like infinite sushi in Tokyo. It's just so good. Nine hundred dollars? No, 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 no. I meant nine hundred yen, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Konnichiwa. I want to try puffer fish, and it's so crazy too. So I went to the Shinjuku last night, and they had like a little. They had like puffer fish in a little tank in Shinjuku, and it's just like a random little place, you know and it's pretty crazy so like they don't have to have it in a very fancy like i'm sure the restaurant's great but like it was i was just like walking by they have puffer fish on the side and it's it was awesome yeah 900 dollars probably feeds you for a whole like i mean if you like ration and stuff i'm sure it can feed you for like two full weeks here this is from north face yeah 900 yen is if that's one one meal mm -hmm. oh yeah and this is pachinko you guys want a sneak peek at pachinko yeah you can get like two full weeks of food if you're smart about it for like 900 dollars okay so i'm not gonna play and i'm not gonna show too much of it but i'll take you guys into the front door because i don't understand how pachinko works they have like it's so loud <laughs> it's just so loud i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go in there but like you can hear that yeah and i was so confused too because when I went to Pachinko yesterday, oh, I should have kept this. They handed you an anime pamphlet in English explaining the rules. Like they were explaining how to use Pachinko uh, using anime, like through anime, basically. I I'm gonna go grab one of those. Like if you ask them how to do it, they'll give you like an anime pamphlet and it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you shoot balls somewhere and you're trying to get balls into like something. But I didn't quite figure out where to get it, but when you win okay you can exchange that for like toothpaste <laughs> or like cup of noodles or like 
um, Clorox or something. And I was like, that was like your, the type of prizes that you could get. And I thought it was great. And then I also found out that you can actually resell those tokens to get cash back. So that's how they get around the whole gambling thing around Japan, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> like it basically is just like, like you can, you can use it on normal products and that, those are the prices that you get, but you can also use it to buy the tokens or like use, use tokens to buy cash. So you use cash to buy tokens. Oh yeah. Also you guys have to see, um, this is Shibuya crossing. We're gonna sit here for a brief second because like it's just so cool but like this is this is one of the most busy intersections in the world yeah it's like almost amsterdam levels of ignoring reality and it was fascinating and they also have pachinko slots so you know how in normal slots you just press one button and it goes in the you in in pachinko slots you press a button and then you have to press a button to stop each individual like spinny thing so you know how there are three so you, so you press one it stops you press one it stops and then you press another one it stops that's how they do it in like that that's how they do slots like the reels yeah it's pretty cool yeah this is from alice in borderland how cool is that it's so interesting how they do slots around here but look at this isn't this cool? It's this is like just such a large intersection. Yeah. We call that Shibuya, that's so funny. Like it's just I will go say we can go say hi to Hachiko. Yeah, over there, you can't see because of the tree. That's Scramble Square, which is like this, like once again, it's like a 14 story tall shopping mall. This is where they shoot everyone in Alice in Borderland. Yup, we're just in Alice in Borderland, guys. All right, we will cross and we will go look at how many people are right there. I don't even remember the stats for how many people cross it every day, but I, I bet it's a lot of people that cross it every day. Some people probably cross it like five times just for the sake of it, you know? Also over here is Hachiko, who is the doggo that is very, very cute and is very loyal. She wants to meet Hachiko. Yeah, and Hachiko is... Um, a dog that when its owner died, it would stay here and always like be around. So Okay, it's my last day and it's been snowy and I'm gonna just pick up a couple of little snacks and stuff to bring back from the Don Quixote. There's so much stuff, it's kinda cool. How crazy is it that their discount store sells Prada bags? Japan. I hope you guys liked watching this video. Please make sure you're leaving a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more future travel content. Thank you guys so much for watching.